All right, YouTube, today we're going to be continuing our common pro player spot series. This time we're moving on to Terminal Search and Destroy Defense. This is a more of a simple map, so there's not going to be as many spots as you saw like on Invasion, uh, but we're going to get through all the common spots, and it basically takes care of the entire map for you. So let's get right into it. All right, so we'll start at the top of the map. The main common spot that you'll see pretty much every team in every round play, at least one or two people, is on top of these eskies. You can really angle yourself on the eskies and use this head glitch to make sure that you're holding off anyone that might be trying to push towards this B side or push towards the burger side, trying to hold off over here. So you can really make sure you're getting info and holding that side of the map for your team, specifically, uh, you know, in default rounds where you're just trying to play picks, get info on where the enemy team is coming from. And you could also have help with your teammates, you know, if we do play two players towards the SE side, or we start playing, you know, more pushed up towards the golf cart here, and even anyone top third can also be flexible and help you out in case they are doing a full B rush with their entire team. So that leads me into this more aggressive position over here. This is going to be right behind this golf cart over here. You'll see a lot of players rush instantly up towards these eskies and go towards this golf cart area, making sure that they have some type of player. You know, usually this guy at the eskies throwing a trophy for them so that they don't get naded instantly or tacked off so that they have the timing to get up to here. Or if they want to get pushed up, but also help out the cross towards the A side, what they can do is play some sort of area around here, whether it's being more passive, still playing, you know, outside of the hallway over here or even playing inside the hallway towards the bathrooms over here, making sure that you're prone, having the entire cross towards the stream side, making sure that you're helping out your team to get info for anyone on the enemy team trying to go A. So, you know, if you're playing this golf court area, you're pushed up, you're being aggressive, you're helping out towards this B side, but you can't really help out anything that might be, you know, towards the middle of the map or towards the A side, unless you get pushed up more towards this cut over here. Uh, so you can either make sure that you have some sort of angle towards this mid hallway. So if you do want to play towards this B side because they're coming that way obviously you can play this off angle and they're gonna have to hard kill you going out of this p1 and challenging you this way but you can really be flexible and take this position as well and try and help out your team towards this cross as well we'll move downwards now towards this red area the first area that i want to talk about is these red stairs a lot of teams will have someone play this right off the rip because what you can do here is it's really good off the break if you want to instantly look towards books or even instantly look towards the cross towards dreams over here so if you don't have anyone initially pushing up towards something like this what you can have someone playing these stairs get that info initially early and then what they could do is just be flexible and hop up to top third and play from there for the rest of the round even playing inside red over here this is another nice off angle too because what you can do is basically hide yourself from anyone that's toward this mid or you know hallway side and you just fully commit to holding this dreams cross for your team in this case you're hiding yourself from anyone towards this mid side anyways so you're basically fully committing helping your team get that info if they do cross or even get some shots off or get a kill on anyone that might be crossing here so it's a little bit more safe safer to play over here but the most common position you'll see towards this red side is obviously top third this is just going to be the main overwatch you know overseeing position for defense on this map just because of how much you're able to actually accomplish in this position as you'll see you're able to hold you know the dreams cross you're able to oversee anyone books you're even able to help out towards this b site as well so it's a really flexible position even if they push you know through the terminal and get towards this cockpit you're able to wall bang them through this way so it's a super powerful Powerful position because you can have impact on all areas of the map pretty much and even get some shots off on anyone that might be going towards B side a side or any of these mid map crosses over here so really powerful position you're going to see it pretty much every round in pro play this top third area and S keys are just gonna be the main staples for any competitive round it's really surprising if you don't see those two positions occupied in a defense uh, any specific round in pro play so definitely make sure that if no one on your team is going towards the top third area you're doing so because it's just a really powerful helpful position for defense we'll move towards the plane side now uh, what you'll see is most of the time when teams are holding plane they're usually holding it with one or two people if they do have two people most of the time you'll see someone in this back plane area either towards the right side chairs or the left side chairs at the back row you just have to be aware of wall bangs in this position there's a ton of different wall bangs that offense can use to try and get you out of this position or different challenges that they can take to either camera you if they're going through the cockpit area or even challenging you through the halls like this so definitely Definitely make sure that you're just being on your toes in this position even though you're so deep you know snuggled into one of those corners you do have to be on your toes uh, for any type of push or wall bang like that and what you usually see if they have two players this player is paired up with someone playing closer you know either at an off angle towards the front of the plane like this or even in the cockpit itself so one of these two positions usually you'll have a sub player playing this type of position making sure that they're holding these off angles just at least getting one before they die so that they can at least set up this guy in the back 
back to help them out. Or if they're just playing solo plane and they're just playing this, you know, off angle position over here, they're making sure they're trying to get at least one kill for anyone that might be sliding out towards the cockpit over here. Because if they can get one kill and buy some time for their team to rotate or even get some wall bangs off to try and just get people out of these positions once, you know, the offense is trying to plan over here. If they can put some pressure by wall banging or by taking their time on a retake, it can really put the offense in a weird position because they have to change their positions constantly. And if they can't get the bomb down because they're getting wall banged, it's just super frustrating and it just buys even more time for your team. So definitely if you're playing solo playing here, which is something you'll usually see actually in pro play matches, you just want to make sure that you get one and hopefully buy enough time for your team uh, with the retake. And this leads me perfectly into the aggressive position towards the A side of the map. It's just basically at the corner of the terminal and the cockpit over here. It's just a really good angle to actually jiggle and make sure you're just trying to get info. You're not hard challenging it. You're not you know, fully committing to anything. You're just jiggling around this area to try and get any information on anyone that might be towards the desk area here or any quick pushes towards this dream side. You're making sure that you're not getting killed, but you're still getting info towards this left side. And what you'll see a lot of players do is if they're solo playing and they don't see any anyone towards the side, you'll see them try and take a little bit more space, you know, push up to the stream's desk over here, or even push fully through on a full flank, or even go and cut through halls here, trying to get to book and try and make a play towards there. But what they're trying to do here is get some info with that jiggle, make a play off of it. If they actually do see people towards that dream side, that gives them an option to actually just back up into one of these three different positions, and then they can play off of that there. So they can play off that info, take whatever option that they want, and just play around that, communicate to your teammates that they're probably coming towards this a side especially if you have another teammate towards this area he can help you out with this cross as well and he can make sure he actually sees them commit with this cross and if the offense does commit you can back off to one of these places and you can just call for your teammate to wall bang for you if they can wall bang this terminal perfect you can get more info with the wall bang and a challenge off of that or just play off of that in general while you're inside the plane and the last aggressive position you won't see as much it's not as common but it is definitely a thing and i can see it being a really useful position in something like rank play where players aren't really expecting you to be there. It's a really good ratty spot underneath pit over here. You can position yourself so you're hidden underneath this pit while also being able to see the cross into terminals. So especially if you have another guy playing inside the plane, you can play off of that and he can play your contact for anyone that might be challenging through the terminal here. You can call it out. You might even get some shots off or a kill if they stop in this specific area. Uh, but making sure that you are hard clear here. If they end up do trying to check you and chow you, that's a possibility too that you're just gonna have to play off of because it is a one-off spot you know once you get a kill or get some shots off they can instantly play for you and you're most likely just going to get trade out anyways but you know in a position where you can get a kill and maybe escape towards this side of the pit or even just escape underneath the plane try and finesse your life this is just a really decent spot for some type of ratty play like that the only other common spot you know that you might see towards this plane side is something like outer over here you know it's not as common but you're still able to see this terminal cross and anyone that might be jumping out of this double window over here so it's kind of a really awkward spot that people aren't really going to be expecting uh, but you can still get some info but it's kind of you know just out of the play if they're able to get inside of a and start planning you don't really have a play unless you try and go and flank their terminal which they're usually going to be watching but another thing you do is just back up you know towards the back of the plane and maybe hit it with your team as you're all trying to retake together uh, other than that you know it is a super awkward position so i figure i just point out because it is still technically a position that you might see in your games yourself you can also see people you know super early in the round going to the orange stairs or going to the back boxes over here and trying to chow people watching the cross at this tree over here but those are just super quick positions right at the beginning of the round so you're not going to be seeing them later on the round obviously in those positions uh, but i just figured i'd mention it anyways since we're just talking about positions on defense specifically but that's pretty much it it's a pretty simple map on defense you know you're going to have your two staple spots at eskies and top third and the rest of it is kind of just you know playing off of your feel of what the enemy team might do or what your teammates want to do if you want a double plane you can double plan if you want a single plane you can do that too so you have some options but honestly the spots themselves are going to be basically the same thing you as a team just have to figure out what you guys want to do and when you're on the offensive side you just have to clear these specific common positions because it's basically going to be standard throughout uh, any sort of defense that you see on this map so that's going to do it for defense on terminal s and d hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys are starting to learn some more spots that you can use in your gameplay hopefully rank drop soon that you can start using these spots if you're not already but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one